Hello friends, this is AutoCAD tutorial video 15. Uh, in this today's tutorial, we are going to learn about how to make a cup uh, in 3D. So, um, before we start the lesson, please subscribe this YouTube channel so that you will get the new updated videos every day. Okay, now let's go to the lesson. So, um, first uh, we have to go to home and uh, you can take this uh, cylinder from the modeling section then uh, before that you can keep this uh, in uh, isometric this corner view okay um, the, in the view cube you can click this corner so it will show the corner view okay now I am going to take this cylinder and uh, I'm <coughs> giving the diameter 0.5 and uh, I'm going to give the height 1 yeah now uh, we need to make a hole in the top side so for that I'm going to go to this solid and um, in this solid editing section you take this cell and uh, it's asking to select the 3d solid I have selected this and uh, remove faces I want to remove the top side so I have selected the top and um, and now it's asking then I have to keep enter now it's asking me to give the offset distance offset distance I'm going to give um, 0 0.05 and press enter and again enter again enter yeah now we got uh, uh, the cup shape uh, and um, now uh, we are going to give some finishing touch for this cup uh, for the finishing touch we are going to use the fillet edge so we are going to fillet the edge of this cup so in the solid take the solid and uh, the solid editing section go to this fillet edge take this fillet edge and you select the corner which one you want to fillet edge yeah I have selected this now you can give the radius you can just uh, type R then press enter now you can give the uh, radius of that uh, fillet so for this one I'm going to give 0 0.02 press enter enter again then enter again to cancel the fillet command then again this inside also you can give take this fillet and select the edge now the radius or enter the same is there already the one we, we have given before 0 0.02 so you can just press enter enter again and enter again now the fillet is done in the top side the similarly the bottom side also we are going to do the fillet so again fillet edge and select the edge on the bottom side then press enter the radius is already is there the previous radius which we have given so you just press enter that one is taken enter again yeah now uh, the bottom side and the top side we did the fillet now you can go to view and take the orbit to see the inside also and uh, all the side you can see by holding the left uh, mouse key and um, 
and you, when you move the mouse the um, screen and object will move along with the mouse you can see inside and outside and all the sides of the 3d object you can see that and the inside also you can give the um, fillet so just press enter to cancel the orbit then go to solid and take the fillet edge again and select this inside edge the previous radius is already there so you just press enter then that fillet is applied in the inside also you can see the finishing inside outside and the bottom side you can use the orbit view to see the bottom side you can see the finishing yeah now it's done now we have to make the um, the holding for the cup the grip the grip for the cup so I'm going to take the front view of this so I'm going to view rotate again I'm going to take the front view escape and you can in the view cube you can give the you can just click the front one so it will come to the front view now we are going to make the the holding uh, holding thing for the um, for the for this cup so now we are going to draw that holding thing for this cup so so before that we have to select this coordinate to the front view so we have to make the drawing in the front view so we have to coordinate in the front view we have to give the coordination into the front view so I have changed it here you can see now I'm going to take this uh, spline here go home draw section take the spline <coughs> excuse me so I'm going to draw the spline here here somewhere uh, you can remove the ortho mode so that uh, you can it will be flexible so maybe yeah like this like this yeah like uh, you can make a similar uh, curve like a holder so um, you can just press enter so I will show you again how to make it I just delete it take the spline from the draw area and uh, maybe from this point you just click it's asking me to specify the first point so I'm going to select maybe this point first point uh, approximately you can later we can correct it so it's asking me to enter enter next point so maybe I'm giving here next point so it will you can see it, the, there is a curve it's changed to like a curve so the, this is spline that's why it's changed as a curve okay so maybe I think this is not good to, so you can give undo you can just uh, escape from the command and take the command again uh, spline you can take <coughs> excuse me so from here maybe maybe from here up to here then then maybe here the next point and uh, the next point maybe here enter that's it I think this is better it looks like a holder for this cup so we can take the view orbit view and you can see this okay but uh, 
you can see it's not uh, attached with the object so what we will do we will move this to this object so you escape from that orbit view and uh, go to home and uh, you can just select it and uh, you can just move just uh, give no gizmo in the home in the selection section just click on the down arrow click on that and uh, just give no gizmo so this will remove uh, this will disappear so for you it will be little bit easy to draw and um, I'm going to select this I have selected it and right click and select move and click on this point now I'm going to fix this object here somewhere yeah done and again go to view take the orbit yeah uh, yeah it's fixed on the bottom side so again I'm going to move it select the object right click move and take this point and move it to here now you can use the ortho <coughs> excuse me you can use the ortho mode and I select this point uh, I think I feel a little difficult to take this point the upper point so we better go to the um, side front view and we will move it yeah so we select the object and uh, now first you go to this uh, home and uh, in the coordinate section go to world that's a normal view now you can see the uh, view cube click on the front view now you select um, the reference object and move it now you can move it ah, it's not moving because the coordinate we have to set it to the front view so on the home coordinate section take this to the um, front view <coughs> excuse me now select it right click move it now you can move it yeah I think this is fine yeah this will be fine maybe center yeah this looks good now you can take the view and take the orbit view yeah I think this looks fine now but this is a just a single line but we have to make this as a 3d uh, like uh, I'll show you how to make it so now we are going to use one different command so for that uh, we are going to make on a circle uh, the beginning of this line I cannot see the end point of this line so I think I better little bit move this so that I can see it a yeah, little bit more out now I'm going to make a circle here in this point uh, now I have to make in the um, this view I'm going to take this world again coordinate now from the right side I have to make the circle that's the reference circle I'm going to make it uh, why I'm going to make why I'm making this circle I will you will understand later so I take the circle from the draw section and uh, take this point no the coordinate I didn't set it to the right so I have to select the coordinate to the right yeah now I'm going to take the um, circle in the draw section circle uh, select this point 
end point of this plane uh, I'm going to give uh, 0 0.05 the diameter sorry the radius of the circle press enter yeah now I'm going to use one command that is uh, in the surface uh, there is sweep there is one command called sweep so I'm going to use this command to make a, a 3d holder for this cup so I'm going to sweep this circle along with this path the curved path okay so uh, I'm going to take this sweep command sweep and now it's asking me to select the object to sweep actually this circle is the object I want to sweep along with this path and press enter now it's asking me to select the sweep path so this is the sweep path I'm going to select it yeah now it's done now we will take the front view so before take the front view I'm going to change it to the normal position this coordinates coordinate click the world is the normal position I'm going to select the front view now you can see it's little bit outside so I'm going to move it inside so click on that right click move uh, before you move it you have to change the coordinate to the front so I'm going to select this coordinate uh, in the home coordinate section click on this world and uh, change it to the front view okay now click the object and right click move it and move it to the uh, this is asking you can give continue now you can move it to this website to attach with this yeah little bit more yeah I think now it's better yeah this is look, looks better now you can delete this reference objects now it's not recurred we already done the grip cup grip now you now you can take the orbit from the view now you can move it and you can check the object uh, it looks wonderful and so now it's very good yeah uh, we have done this uh, cup drawing so you can practice by yourself uh, please watch the video from the beginning to the end so that uh, you will understand it really clearly so this is how we did the cup drawing it looks nice yeah okay now we can change it to the coordinate to the normal position world and you can change it to the corner view maybe this corner view you can see the holder also otherwise this corner this corner any corner yeah you can select it you can take the orbit view and you can rotate the object you can check how it looks like uh, if you need any change yeah it's done okay so please subscribe this youtube channel so that you will get new updated videos thank you for watching uh, bye